guys, so today I wanted to do a simple back to school makeup look because back to school, either it's already happened for you so this could just be like an everyday school kind of makeup or it's coming up like just in a couple of days which is either super exciting, super nerve wracking or just super disappointing that summer's over. So as you guys know, I'm already in school because I go to college and college typically starts during the summer but I know some colleges are still starting in the upcoming weeks. So if you guys are still looking for that perfect back to school makeup, then I think that this look is absolutely amazing. It's really easy to do. It's just a really kind of glowing sun-kissed look to make it seem like you had the most relaxing and amazing summer ever, even if you just spent most of it in your pajamas, in bed, watching Netflix. If you want to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. To start off this makeup look, I'm starting with my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. This is just going to keep my foundation locked in place all day, keeping my pores looking not too huge, and just basically keeping my makeup from falling apart. So for my back to school makeup, I like to go with a very matte foundation that's going to last a long time. So this year, my go-to is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte because like its title, tells you it's very matte so it's not going to look too sweaty because the first days back at school are always the hottest and the ones when you look the sweatiest. Let's be honest here, summer days are brutal when you're starting school. I'm using two different concealers today. One is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and one is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. So for the Fit Me Concealer, I'm using this as my actual hardcore concealer. So this is going to go underneath my eyes to cover up some dark circles on any kind of breakouts that I have, any place where I kind of tend to get a lot of discoloration during the day. And then for the Dream Lumi, I'm using this as a highlighter. So I'm applying this to the tops of my cheeks, to the center of my face, anywhere that I really want to just kind of define and bring forward a little bit and I'm blending that, blending that out blending that out with that out with out with the same, same foundation brush so if you guys want to know the shades that I'm using I'm shade 25 in the fit me and shade ivory in the dream Lumi. Back to school makeup I feel like should be a little more still relaxed and laid back. So I like to focus on having bronzy glowy skin. So I'm taking my Body Shop bronzer, which is like the honey medium bronzer, and I'm applying this anywhere that I would have naturally gotten a tan during the summer. So I'm applying it to the tops of my cheekbones, to the temples of my forehead, down the center of my nose, any place again that I'd really just naturally get a bronze and of course I'm going to apply a little bit other places like underneath my jawline just to kind of define that and a little bit down the sides of my nose just to you know kind of make that look a little bit smaller but you guys get the drill and I'm skipping blush entirely. Moving on to my brows, I always have to define my brows whether it's a school day, a work day, or whatever. So I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette, just a staple for me, I have to do this. So you guys don't have to fill in your brows for school if you want, but I really like it. And to set my brows in place, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Mascara, and this is just in the dark brown shade. Uh, yeah, I just, I kind of like this product to give a little extra darkness to my eyes. I feel like that's better situated in the summer. So moving on to my eyes, I'm going to first prime them with my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, applying a little bit of this to my eyelids, and then just blending it on in. And then I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. So I'm sticking this pretty basic. So I'm starting with this cream shade on the upper left corner from the Kat Von D shade and light eyeshadow palette. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just blending this all over my eyelid up into my brow bone. Basically everywhere this is just going to give me a nice little base. 
And then, because I'm sticking with the glowy, summery, laid-back makeup, I'm taking this shimmery shade, the second one from the left here, from the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette called Lalita, and I'm just applying this all over my lid. It's just a really nice, shimmery brown color, and it's pretty light, so it's like a light brownish, goldy color. Uh, yeah, and that's just going to make me look a little more awake, give me a little bit of that glowy look, and it's also really, really simple to do because I'm not blending out any other shade with it. Uh, if you are like me and you have more hooded eyes, I do recommend taking a light brown color and just kind of blending that through your crease and your outer corner, but you can totally skip that shape, that step, especially if you have a different eye shape than me. So, moving on, it is time to get into eyeliner because I need some definition on my eyes. So I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Hustle, and I'm applying this to my upper waterline and to my lower waterline, and then I'm going to just blend that out to make it a little bit smokier because... I don't know, something about eyeliner to me, I feel like when you're using a pencil eyeliner, you just have to smudge it out a little bit just to make it look a little more natural. It wouldn't be a real makeup look for me if I wasn't using my Steel Stale Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in black. So of course, I'm lining my upper lash line. Now, for school, I like to just keep it very basic, just a very, very thin line, as thin as you can get it, and not winging it out or anything, because again, it's just school, and you don't want to take too much time getting that perfect cat eye and having to redo it at 7 o'clock in the morning before class. So the last step for the eyes is of course mascara, so I'm using my favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. Use whichever mascara you want, this just happens to be a formula that I like at the moment. So of course, I'm going with the glow, so I'm taking my Hourglass palette, and I'm taking the bronzier shade from here. So these are like highlighting powders. I'm sure you guys have heard of the whole strobing trend right now. So this is kind of my take on it. It's not serious strobing. You could go glowier than I am. I am using a product that you could just use as a basic powder. I use it that way sometimes. But I'm going more for a I'm going more with the highlighter kind of look and use of this product today. So it's going to give you that strobing effect, but a little less intense than I've seen it done. I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with a translucent powder. This one is the brightening one from Laura Mercier, so it's not quite translucent, but I ran out of my translucent powder, okay? So I'm, I'm multitasking right now. Finally, I'm using the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick in the Fuchsia shade. And I'm just applying this as my lip product because it's moisturizing, it's really pigmented, and it's bright enough that it still screams summer and it kind of balances out the simplicity of the rest of the look. I hope that you guys liked this video. Again, I'm still kind of working on my filming setup here, but let me know how you guys liked this one. So I think that that is it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure that you give this a thumbs up if you like my makeup videos and if you like this look. And let me know in the comments what you would do differently with this look or what your go-to back-to-school makeup look is. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!